Okay, so in this video, what I want to show you guys is how to measure squish. Squish is the distance between the top of the head, the bottom of the head, and the top of the piston. Uh, certain motors have certain numbers that are good. In this particular motor, what we're shooting for is approximately 1.2 millimeters worth of squish. So to measure squish, what we need is clay. It's just modeling clay. It's fairly firm. It doesn't deform too easily, but it, it works. Uh, use your old head gasket and then slide calipers. This particular motor uh, runs with uh, base gaskets, so it's the gasket between the cylinder and the case. And in this particular case, uh, I need approximately three base gaskets. It's in this case, it's okay to stack these three base gaskets. I'm using OEM Suzuki base gaskets and they should be able to handle the stacking of three. I don't want to go any higher than three and uh, I, there was no reason for me to order a, a single base gasket of the equivalent thickness. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get the base gaskets on, get the cylinder on, uh, this has a couple of nuts over here which are tightened up, and then what we need to do is make little balls of the clay. So it's just a little bit of clay, work it around in our fingers, uh, a little too much clay in this case, work around in our fingers, and we get this little ball of clay. Don't worry, that's dirty. And what we want to do is, uh, perpendicular to the plane of the wrist pin, which in this case goes this direction, we want to put the clay on each side. So we have one piece up here that we want to put it in. Keep it slightly from the edge so that when you uh, squish the clay, it doesn't squish up against the side of the cylinder head. You can work with that. It's just an extra step you have to take uh, to getting a good flat piece of clay to measure. So we do this on both sides. So we get that in there. Now, if you notice, the cylinder, or the piston, is down far enough that when I assemble it, it won't squish the clay yet. Because I don't want to do that until after I've put everything together, tighten the head bolts down, and then I rotate the piston through top dead center. So at this point, we put the head gasket on, uh, get it on there correctly. We take our head, Put it on. And then we go through and tighten our head bolts on it. This motor uses four head bolts and it uses a two stage tightening process. What we want to do, because we're not, we're not doing the final tightening, we're not trying to get it to the um, point where it can hold the compression of the motor of this piston. We just want to get it down so it's fairly tight. What we're going to do is we're going to tighten these bolts down in the proper diagonal sequence to uh, the first tightening uh, setting, which in this case is, I believe, it was 23 pneumometric uh, pounds, uh, meters. So I already have it set to my torque wrench to 23 pneumometric. So now that we have this tight, uh, what we need to do is rotate it through top dead center. So simply, I grab the crank, I look down the spark plug hole, doesn't matter which side you grab it on, I grab the spark plug hole, and then uh, rotate it through. At this point, it's a little firm, because it's hitting the top, and I just keep rotating it through, and then I rock it back a little bit. I just wanted to make sure that it went through fine and nothing was kind of off about it. Once you've done that, rotate it down a little bit so you have some space, and then you need to go ahead and start uh, tearing this thing back apart. So. So you want to be careful when you take the head off because a lot of times the clay ends up sitting on top of the head, which is what you want to measure. So just be careful with this. So I can get it off the post without using too much movement. 
Oh, come on. Okay. So as you can see, you have the two pieces of clay that squished out here. So we have to measure how thick that is. So what we use is a straight razor and our trusty slide caliper. The deal is you want to, if you put the clay too close to the edge, it will smash up. You can kind of see how close it got to the edge. In this case, it didn't. So all I need to do is measure the, the clay thickness. You measure both sides and then average it, and that's your squish. So be careful not to let the clay roll up too much as you take it off, because it will change how you measure it. And then it's just a light tap onto the clay. So you can see in this case, it's 1.04. Yeah. Go to the other side. Light tap, 1.24. So we write both those down, and that's going to end up to be about 1.125, 1 1.28. So we have 1.04, 1.24, and then we, that's 10, 20 difference, we add 10. Um, 28 is 14. So 1.14 is what it's going to, is what it is. Um, so that's your squish. Um, and on this particular motor, for this particular build, I'm shooting for a squish of approximately 1.2. Uh, and we did use a, a old head gasket for it, which will change it just slightly. Um, and if I add another base gasket, because I already have three base gaskets, it'll be too much. It'll be not enough squish. So, because each base gasket on this motor is about 0 0.23, 0 0.25 millimeters. So what I want to do is just go ahead and leave it here. It'll be a little bit higher compression than I uh, was shooting for, but this motor's a compromise uh, because it used to be a super sport and now it's a super bike motor.